evening. It is Sunday, December 9th, and I just got home from Prescott about 30 minutes ago. Cash and I were up there for the weekend, and we just got back. We finished eating our food. Cash had some chicken nuggets, he had some broccoli, he had banana, and he had some applesauce. He is quite the eater. As soon as he started dumping the food onto the floor, I was like, oh, you're done. So this week I thought that maybe I would focus my vlog more on the mommy side of my life. Lots and lots of you have requested at home vlogs and vlogs of me on weekends, vlogs of me interacting with, with my husband and interacting with Cash. And so I wanted to take kind of a break from the teaching side of vlogging and just kind of focus more on at home and mommy and what happens after I'm done teaching for the day. So what are we doing right now, do you ask? We are, <laughs> please also, forewarning, my house is a disaster. Because I have a one-year-old, I work a full-time job, my husband works a full-time job, and we just don't have the time to like upkeep it all day, every day. So we just choose not to. So you're gonna probably see a lot of background mess. Oh, did you wanna vlog? Did you wanna vlog? Oh, you wanna take me somewhere? Okay. Um, so we're actually cleaning out the car right now from our trip and this entails Cash just kind of roaming. Careful, there's a step. <laughs> Come on! Come on! Step down. You got it. Come on. You got it. Mama's got you. Come on. Big step. Good job. He's so self-preserving. Jump down. Good job. Okay, now go that way. There you go. going to open this gift from my parents and they said that they wanted us to open it before Christmas because it's something to <laughs> oh you don't want to sit with me okay it's something that will go under the tree and they said that they want us to open it before that way we can enjoy it where are you going Okay, so this gift is definitely not intended for Cash to be playing with. So we're gonna actually switch locations and open this at the table because it is like a delicate little thing. All right guys, so this guy just got his bath and he got all in his jammies and say we opened the present from Grandpa and it is this wonderful, wonderful electric peanuts train set. It's a Christmas train set. How cool is that? So I don't think it's gonna make it under the tree this year though because this one has sticky fingers. We'll see, maybe while he's asleep I'll put it up and then he won't notice that it's there. Who knows? But we're gonna get ready for bed. So usually before bedtime we do a little bit of quiet time in his bedroom for about 20 to 30 minutes before it's actual bedtime. And that just consists of him walking around in here playing with the lights down low. We read books, he drinks his nighttime bottle and then he goes down really easy. All I do is lay him down and he goes to bed without a problem. Unless he's not feeling good, then he'll have a problem, but only if you don't feel good, huh? So right now, we're just waiting for his bottle to warm up. You can tell he's tired because he's 
fussing. <laughs> what are you doing? You gonna hold it? Okay. Say hi, Mama! Hi, Mama! <laughs> he wants it so bad. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna put this camera down so he can chill. Hello, guys. So, it is um, 3.56, and I'm sitting here at Discount Tire, waiting for them to fill up my tires with air, because with the cold air comes low tire pressure. So I didn't want to drive. I already drove here with low tire pressure. I didn't want to drive back with low tire pressure. So I'm getting my tires filled. And then we are going to go to the mall and get pictures of cash with Santa. And then I think we might go to Costco. I think. We'll see about that one. <sighs> this is exactly why I like leaving work right at 3.30 and getting on the road because I left work at 3.30, but I had to go get my tires filled, and now I am stuck in this terrible traffic. I'm going at 10 miles an hour, and I'm just crawling, and I still have all the way to that mountain to go. Oops. I don't think we're gonna have time to take cash to see Santa, because I'm probably not gonna get home till five. This is so frustrating. So because of the traffic jam I was in, added on with me having to stop and get air in my tires, added on to me having to stop at Cash's new preschool to pick up paperwork and pay his supply fee, I am not getting home until about 5.20, 5.30. It's five o'clock right now and I still have about 20 minutes, maybe 15 minutes left in my drive. If you guys don't have a mod pizza where you are, they are literally so good. You go and you build your own, and this is like, I would say a medium sized pizza. It's like $7. So we always just get two different pizzas and then we split them. So we're just gonna go home, we're gonna chill. We're not gonna go to Costco, we're not gonna go to see Santa tonight. We're just gonna do it tomorrow because there was too many things going on after work. Normally I get home around 4.30 and not 5.30. So I think we're just gonna wait and do it tomorrow. Also, our three year wedding anniversary is on Wednesday. And I'm actually going to link our amazing wedding video down in the description of this video so that if you're interested, you can check it out because it is really, really sweet. Um, but yeah, our anniversary is Wednesday, so I think we're gonna go to one of our favorite restaurants and it is in Mesa and it is called The Angry Crab. I know that there's a couple of them in the Phoenix area here in Arizona, and if you're from here and you've never tried the Angry Crab, you need to. It's definitely a pricier side meal, but you're getting like market price seafood. So we always get like a bunch of snow crab and we split it and it's just delicious. They come with like the potatoes. It's basically like the crab shack but 10 times better. So I think we're gonna go do that for our anniversary dinner on Wednesday. Maybe go see a movie, I don't know. I think that we should do like more on our anniversary than we do on like a normal date. And um, we usually just go get stuff to eat just cause it's hard with cash. We have a babysitter, but because Scott works on weekends, we don't have the luxury of like going out on a weekend night and staying out late because he's only off when I'm working. So we can't stay out too, too late because I have to work the next day. So we're just gonna go out to dinner and maybe get a movie in and I don't know, hopefully. And then the food, he said it's different. He said it, they were talking about how um, he went from having a really big appetite to sometimes it looks like he didn't eat at all today. Mm -hmm. He said it's normal. <laughs> So just let him, uh, they say basically just judge off of what he looks like weight wise. Yeah. But give him his food on his tray and not to feed him by his spoon. If we feed him by spoons, he won't know. What he's doing. He'll just keep eating. And they say that they say that they need to teach themselves. What you got there?
<laughs> See, I like to hold the apple while I chew on it. I like to just hold it. Mmm, lick those fingers. Good morning, guys. Happy Tuesday. Hello, so the kids are at PE and I'm drinking some emergency because I feel like I'm getting a little bit sick and that's just a scary thought. So, so before I leave for work today, I wanted to talk about something that really upset me today. So at the beginning of the school year, every teacher signs up for committees and these are committees that um, provide events and things with staff to manage those events and things and you just sign up for a way to be involved in your school and to basically you have responsibilities that you do outside of your normal teaching responsibilities so at the beginning of the year I signed up for some orchestra concerts which were evening concerts I signed up for the talent show committee I'm also the team leader and then I signed up for the stem committee so STEM night already happened. It was an evening committee event. And then tonight, I actually got an email this afternoon reminding me that tonight was the orchestra concert. Now, this event was marked on our staff calendar, so I did see it, but I guess I just didn't register that I was signed up for this committee, so I completely forgot. As soon as I was reminded, I, start getting, I started getting really upset because Tonight we were supposed to take cash to see Santa. I haven't seen my husband except for yesterday because we were in Prescott over the weekend and he was here working so I hadn't seen him in four days. And then I just realized that if I did stay here for the orchestra concert, I wasn't going to see cash all day long because the orchestra concert doesn't end until 7 and then I have an hour long drive. So I wouldn't get home until about 8 o'clock and that by then he would be going to bed. So I broke down crying. I ate in my room by myself and I usually eat with my team. I broke down crying in front of them and it was just really hard. It's really hard being a mom of young children and being a teacher. And part of that is having evening events that you have to attend, especially if you live really far from where you work. If I lived around the corner from where I work, I would just go home, pick up cash, and come back. And he would just be here with me. Or I could just see if someone could swing by and watch him for an hour or two. And then I could go. Scott is home with him tonight so that I didn't need a sitter. But still, I don't get to go home and spend time with my baby and then come back. It's just not like that for me. So I got really upset. I started crying. And it was just a really weak moment. Luckily, I have a really amazing teammate who offered to switch events with me. So she's going to take tonight's event, and then I'm going to come Thursday to our craft night. And that event is only from 4.30 to 6 o'clock. So that way I can be home by 7 and still have an hour with cash. It's not a super eventful evening because Scott is not home. He's at work. And it's just much easier for me to be at that event rather than the concert. So... This is just something that I struggle with as a mom, and I know a lot of you other teacher moms also struggle with it, or teacher parents also struggle with this, especially if your kids aren't at school yet, because most of the time, if you're lucky, your kids go to the school where you teach, so you're able to be involved in their lives. And if you're not, I'm sure it's hard to be able to be involved, you know? So anyway, I wanted to share that moment with you guys because it really was a struggle. Like, I cried, like, really hard. So anyway, I am going to get going. My printer's not working in there, so I'm just going to go home. It is 3.30 right now, so I need to walk out the door right now. Or 
I'm gonna be late. Hi, sweetie. Hey. Cash, where are we going? Where are we going? <laughs> Me too. Cash, step on the snowflake. Step on it. See? Where are we going? That way? No idea. Get wipes? Yeah. So we came here for, I think. Mm hmm. I'm not even sure why we came here. We came for wipes. Oh, okay. And eggs. Oh. You want to get any produce? No, we don't ever eat that much produce. It'll go bad. What is your problem? Tell them I just want to eat Jack's food. I don't want my food. You mean Cash's food? Cash food. So I just keep pissing everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so the dogs are used to standing right here under the the high chair and they just sit here and wait for cash to drop food and so they've started not eating their own food because they want cash's food you look so pathetic right and now. this one every time we pick him up to take him into the laundry room to eat he pees he piddles because he's scared looks so pathetic <laughs> We just got back from Costco. We had a great time. Cash got his picture taken with Santa. And we only went to Costco to get baby wipes. But you know, Costco's like Target. You get sucked in. So, we got some zebra popcorn. Some tamales. Some flotas. Eggs. These things were like, they were selling them. We got some almond butter. Some hot chipotle almond dip. That stuff's so good. And then these are like these little chicken melt sandwiches. They're only 160 calories each. How much sodium is in these? 475 milligrams. Woo! Okay. Last one. Yeah. The chicken? Chicken? No. No. See? Alice is out here now. Good morning, guys. It's almost 6 a.m. And I woke up feeling really gross. I'm not congested, like, a whole lot. But I can tell that I've had drippage down my throat all night long. Because I woke up with like a phlegm filled throat. And my nose is kind of stuffy. So that's no good. I did notice I was getting sick yesterday though. So I think that it's just official. Look how cute. Last night Cash was not happy with Santa. Don't get me wrong, he didn't scream or like cry, but he was like, ah. <laughs> Honestly, I wish we would have printed the funniest one. We probably should have, but oh well, it's still cute. Hi, Boogie. Yeah. We're heading down to Fort. You gonna eat your carrots? Bye, pumpkin. Eat your carrots. Oh and no, thank you. You, you. Oh, my belly hurts. Oh, sorry. <laughs> what is Poncho doing? That's too classy. Go get Christmas present. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that means. You know. Bye, pumpkin. Say bye bye. See you later, alligator. <laughs> <laughs> bye. Bye. See you later, like, alligator. Okay, guys. I'm trying to eat my veggies. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Mama. 
I'm back and I'm wearing my favorite lipstick and littles t-shirt. I got this one in a size large and I really like it because it's super baggy and it's not like tight and constricting and I just... Good morning, Alexa. Pause. Good morning. Are you having breakfast? What are you eating? Is that a, is that a waffle? Is it good? Say, yeah, mama, it's good. Hey guys, so it has been a very long day. I apologize for this vlog being like everywhere, but that's kind of what life is like when I'm not at work. Like work is the most structured place really for me, for kids, for everybody. So as you can see, my living room is a mess. I just laid cash down. It is 827. He probably won't fall asleep till around nine if I'm lucky. Uh, so yeah, I think I'm going to make myself something to eat and clean up this mess. <laughs> and then I'm probably going to go to bed early and watch Netflix or something. So thank you guys so much for watching this week. If you liked this mom vlog, I know that I did kind of a poor job at it this time around, but it was a really, really busy week and it was just really hard to remember to take out the camera and film everything for you guys. But I really would like to do another mom vlog for you guys, but make it more like truly a day in the life of what it's like. Uh, it is now almost winter break, so maybe I'll do a couple of winter break vlogs. I think that would be fun. Maybe I'll do like a straight up day in the life weekend vlog because weekends are when I have cash all to myself. My husband is home, but those are my days to really be home with him. During the week, it's harder because I get home and then I'm in mommy mode when I'm home and it's just like craziness. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video and I hope you guys have happy holidays if I don't see you before Christmas. Merry Christmas.